Hey YouTube, so what I have here in my hand is a Ford PATS key that I found in the junkyard. Now PATS stands for Passive Anti-Theft System. Basically how it works is there's an RFID chip inside the key and it's uniquely coded for each vehicle. Um, there's a transponder behind the steering column that connects with the PCM and it talks to the key. So if it recognizes the unique radio ID or RFID, uh, radio frequency ID, uh, code that is in the key, it will allow the car to start. If it doesn't recognize any key or um, the wrong key, it will not let the car to start. It's it's a really uh, kind of basic anti-theft system, uh, but it works well. Unfortunately, keys are very expensive for it new. Um, you can program them yourself. There are plenty of uh, tutorials out there on how to do so. Um, where I found a lot of my information for this was uh, exploreforums.com. I'll put the link in the bottom. I mean, you can Google it. There are tons of people out there who have information on how this stuff works. But it's fairly basic. Again, there's a, there's a chip inside here that emits a radio frequency ID, RFID, and the transponder behind the steering column has uh, an antenna on it, and it picks up the chip. Uh, it kind of works like if you, if you have, go to work and you have a badge to get into the building. It's the same concept. Uh, the badge will have an RFID chip in it and it opens the door. Well, this just allows you to start the car. Um, and it does some other cool things. Um, it, uh, it supposedly knows when the key is in the car so you can't automatically lock the key in the car, um, which is kind of cool and I've seen that work before. Um, and it basically is available on any Ford vehicle 96 and newer, so with OBD2. Um, there are some variations to that. There's a few lists of vehicles that it comes with and does not come with, so you have to go look it up online. But this is a PATS key, and that's kind of how it works. And I'm going to open it up and show you what's inside of it, because I'm curious myself. I found this key in the junkyard. Let me give you a better look at it. It's in the Ford truck section, so it's probably out of an F-150 or something along those lines. You can see it's already broken open a little bit, so I'm just going to break it open a little more. One last quick thing about PATS before I open this key up is uh, it's not actually compatible with an aftermarket remote start system. Uh, that's because if you try and start the car with a remote start system in it, it doesn't know the key is in it. Um, so it will not allow the car to start. So here's the key. It's already got a crack in it, so I'll kind of break it open a little. This right here that I'm pulling out, this is probably the RFID chip. So you can see right there. That's my guess is this is the RFID chip. And that's probably all that's inside of this key. Yep, and that's all that's inside of it. So the rest is key. So you have your RFID chip that sits over here, like so, and you have a key. So basically the computer just picks up on that chip. This has some sort of information, either a code, or something along those lines, and it emits. This is this right here is probably the little antenna. It looks like a wound coil. This is probably the chip itself at this end. Um, but you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but I'm pretty sure from doing my homework, that is how PATS works, and that's what this piece is, is the RFID chip.